Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with the Friday Night Magic Spotlight. I'm actually not going to be playing in Friday Night Magic. We're going to be drafting today, so I thought I'd get some gameplay on the channel for this deck that I've been working on, a pet deck, which is Seasons Past. I've been trying to make Seasons Past work ever since the uh, Tutor from Origins rotated. It just hasn't had the same oomph. And I'm also thinking that one of the reasons we lost Languish, uh, I've been testing... Bantu's Last Reckoning out in the replace in the place of Languish, and it is actually pretty good, except that there's no reason to be running board wipes at the moment in in standard. Uh, pretty much, the uh, top finishes are misleading on MT Joe, which exact I knew this exactly was going to happen uh, with the data uh, debacle. Is it's not showing like the vast majority of decks that are probably pushing through. But from my just playing for the past few days. A lot of Torrential Gear Hulk decks, a lot of Prize Amalgam decks, a lot of Elder Deep Fiend. Those are basically the, uh, that is the meta at the moment. You'll see some Mardu every now and again, you'll see some Zombies every now and again, you'll see some um, of the Monuments, the White Blue Monuments, and again, you'll see some of the, the, the usual suspects of, of uh, like the Red Green Energy or Black Green Energy, but it seems like Rug Energy or Team Energy has really switched over to Elder Deep Fiend, and there's a <clears throat> excuse me, a bunch of other decks that are running Elder Deep Fiend. And so board wipes are just, I think, especially if they're going to prize amalgam with Elder Deep Fiend, are just not in a very good position at the moment in the meta. But we do have them on the sideboard. So this is my, my latest version. Of course, this is always subject to change, uh, being messed around with the, the uh, amounts of each of the cards in the stack. At one point, I had four Fatal Pushes and four Grasps in the 60. And now I'm down to just three and two and have added the Never Returns and the Doom Falls because both Never Return and Doom Fall uh, tend to be more versatile in the metagame. I really like Doom Fall versus Torrential Gear Hulk, for example, as you can rip out a card or you can kill a Torrential Gear Hulk. And it just doesn't get stuck in your hand like a Grasp of Darkness does against that particular matchup. Same thing versus Prize Amalgam. You rarely ever want to use a removal versus those type of decks. You'd rather use Doomfall as a way to exile card other hand. Again, rip that Elder Deep Fiend out, um, and you're in you're in great shape. So, uh, let's just go down the list. Of course, the Seasons Pass is going to be running a nice little spread of cards from the zero drops to all the way into, uh, in this case, seven. As the Never Return, that's another reason why I like it. Is actually a seven drop uh, with the way that they've made the split cards actually. Uh, reworked with their their converted mana cost. So we have lands. I'm going to run 24. The reason why we can go a low land count is we're actually going to run uh, Traverse the Umwalds and then other cards that cycle. And we'll get to the tutor in a second. Why well, I think it's actually perfect for the season's past deck. So one of Blighted Fen. It actually does help us versus uh, Trench of Good Hold decks is great against. They can't counter it. Um, it's pretty decent versus. The, if you have like a Bristling Hydra or Westville Abbey, cards that are tough to either target or have indestructible, Blighted Fen can go around that. We are, we're running the four of Blooming Marsh, the four of Twisting Quagmire, and the four of Evolving Wilds. So sometimes we do get stuck with comes into play tap lands. It is very annoying, but I think that these are necessary. As these Quagmires can play the blocker route, it can also attack in. Uh, we're running two Scattered Groves just as ways to cycle and get the pseudo Delirium. This deck doesn't care too much about Delirium. Some of the decks in the past have really cared about Delirium, uh, but this one doesn't as much. So Traverse Traverse is good early and then late. Usually do have Delirium in this deck. Uh, we do have Planeswalkers, Creatures, Instant Sorcery, but mainly it's Instant Sorcery, Land, and Artifact or Artifact Creature. I don't know, sometimes getting that fourth one can be a bit tough in the graveyard, but Instant Sorcery Land Creature is is pretty um, pretty normal. So we, we could run like an enchantment. I've had other enchantments in this one. There was the one drop uh, enchant land, and then you can sacrifice it to draw a card that I've had in here just to help with Delirium. But again, Delirium isn't that necessary in this deck anymore. So then we're going to fill up the rest of the land slots with basic lands, swamps, and forests. And then onto our one drops. So our one drops are going to be Fatal Push and Traverse. Fatal Push is early, removal early. I like Fatal Push because it's got the Evolving Wilds, and it also can work with Walking Ballistas later on uh, to kill the, those pesky four drops. Uh, Traverse is just really good because you're just going to go get a land early, and then later on you can go get like an Ishkana or, or a Kalidus, or at that point even you can go get like a Scattered Groves just to draw a card by cycling. Uh, so this ends up being a three mana for Traverse to cycle. 
So then we have on the two drop, we have two transgress the mines, two grass the darknesses, and one dissenter's deliverance. Dissenter's deliverance is getting good again with torrential gear hulks. You'll hit some random cards here and there that are artifacts. Um, and it's just nice to have something you can cycle early. And then as a two drop, get it back with seasons past. Our three drops can be one succumb and three doom falls. As succumb helps you draw some cards before you get your real seasons past draw loop going. And then Doomfall, again, this card is just incredibly versatile. And in a control deck, that's exactly what you want, is versatility. So early game, it can take care of a problematic card. Late game or mid game or even early game, you can still uh, target an opponent and exile uh, a non-land card from their hand. So uh, again, it's, it's a very powerful card. I like it better than like cards like Collector Brutality in this deck, for sure. Uh, then we're going to run on a 4-drop slot. A 1 of Hour of Glory gives us another 4-mana uh, removal spell we can get back. 2 Gaunties and 2 Kalidases. These are both probably the best recurring threat. Gaunti is really good because you can use your opponent's cards against them. Then we have the 5 drop. The 5 drop is really cool in this because we have an Ishkana. Um, this is, the more and more I play this card, the weaker it is in the meta at the moment with our devastation and also with the Kozlix return being flashbacked or cast from the graveyard. But it's still, it's still decent versus a multitude of different matchups like Mardu and, and Zombies. Uh, then we're going to have Razakas Raz, right. That's the whole reason why I decided to play this deck again, the Seasons Past, because early you just cycle this. And then you dig, 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 dig for Seasons Past. Then you can get back your right. And then you can tutor for your Seasons Past. So you don't need to like use this early to go grab a Seasons Past, even though you can. You're going to cycle this. You're never going to go tutor for basically anything. You cycle this as soon as you see it. A one of Obnixilis, uh, another great win condition. And, and then we are still going to run the Nissa's Renewal. Nissa's Renewal a lot of times will gain us that 7 life. Find enough lands to start chaining the Seasons Pass, which I think is important. And then it's it's pretty pretty good. There's a lot of, of these grindy matchups where Nissa's Renewal is very powerful. Then the namesake of the deck it's going to be able to get back uh, tons of either control cards or your finishers eventually. And then the 3 of Never, 2 returns. Sometimes you do have to use the Aftermath for the return, but that's actually good with the prized amalgams. And then we have the win conditions of the deck, which are going to be Walking Ballista and Torment of Hailfire. Torment of Hailfire is nice as a two drop to keep coming back uh, after you've had the season's pass lock. It only requires usually like twice of using this before your opponent dies. And then we also have the Walking Ballistas, which are just so versatile in this deck. Uh, they come out early. They can take care of some cards uh, early on. And then you can actually use them for a ton. They're your zero drop you can get back with Seasons Past. So if at that point you don't want to get like a Scattered Grows or an Evolving Wilds, you do have a decent target to get back with Walking Bliss or for the Walking Blista. Then on our sideboard, which is uh, definitely up for change. Uh, I've had a Soren here before. I've actually had a Soren in the main as well. Because uh, But I think if you play a Soren, though, you do need to put a white source like a Plains in your main. And yeah, usually it just requires one planes is all, all it wants. But anyway, we have a Scarab Feast just because prize amalgam decks are a thing right now. And they're, they're actually decent versus Trenchal Gear Hulk. A lot of times I'll bring them in just because I don't have enough cards to actually want. I actually want to uh, take out in that matchup. The Scarab Feast just ends up being either an exile card or cycle it earlier, exile card they try to flash back. Two more Transgress the Mines. Really in here for the uh, Trenchal Gear Hulk match or any of those Nickel Bullets type matches. A To the Slaughter. To the Slaughter can come in versus things that I need to kill uh, Planeswalkers. Right now I've just got the Doomfalls. To the Slaughter though can kill Planeswalker and a creature. And I, I usually do bring these in versus Planeswalker decks. In any sort of Westville Abbey deck, you'll bring them to the Slaughter. It's pretty weak right now. I took it out because of Prize Amalgam. It just wasn't as, as versatile as the Doomfall. Then the four of Bont Bontu's Last Reckoning, those are going to come in versus decks where you, like, basically right now the only things that would come in versus is Black Green and Zombies. Maybe it gets Monument, but Monument is a pretty good renewable resource with their Monument. So, although, I don't know if I'd bring the full, full package, but against Zombies this is very key, is this particular card. Same with the Flaying Tendrils. Flaying Tendrils is actually really good in the Prize Amalgam decks, even though it does not get rid of the Prize Amalgam. It gets rid of the Scrappy Scrounger and the Haunted Deads. And if they're playing the token version of the deck, it gets rid of all the tokens they've generated, including the, the, the Haunted Deck. It's the Crawling Sensations is a lot of what people are playing with that. We're going to have a Lost Legacy. I had a Dispossess at one point, but I'm thinking it's the Churchill Gear Hulk decks. A lot of them are running two or three, and so it's not really worth it. They, they, they kind of diversify their win conditions. So you don't want to name their win condition a lot of times. What you want to do with Lost Legacy a lot of times is grab like Glimmer, and it really does hurt their deck without being able to get that card advantage from the Glimmers and then flashing black, back the Glimmers. Or if they are a Winter Pony deck with a specific removal spell, 
Uh, all you do is just get rid of that specific removal or a specific win condition, not removal spell. Or yeah, if they are playing something that combats your type strategy, you can always lost legacy it. Um, another succumb to temptation in the sideboard. Um, I've also had an Essex, what is it called? Essence Distraction, the three damage, three life. Um, but I think Succumb is just more draw versus the control. Same with Obnixilis. Obnixilis is just more draw. So, of course, you'll be taking out like Fatal Push and Grasps. I usually tend to bring keep in Fatal Push versus the Torrential Gear Hulk because it can kill the uh, Fumerals, which is their other alternate win con. And then we have a Noxious Gear Hulk for those really grindy. Usually, this is the Red Green Pummeler uh, or just Red Green Energy type decks. Or the. Uh, I, I really like it versus Green Black. Uh, it's susceptible to dying to the Glorybringer, though, so keep that in mind. Again, every time I cut out the Grass of Darkness, I go up against Glorybringers and want them. But I, I think that the 3-2-3 three, the three, three split is pretty good. Never still kills Glorybringer as well. Um, anyway, and we do have one more Never Return in the sideboard. They're that good. When they're good, they're really good against Planeswalkers. Um, they really do bring these in versus the Chandra decks, because you do have to kill Chandra immediately. Chandra is a pesky card for this deck to... Uh, play again. So anyway, I'm going to keep this up for a few games, see how it does. And again, we have, it's pretty 50 50 versus everything. There's no matchup that I go in that I think I'm like completely dead to. But the problem is there's also not really a matchup that I really feel ahead, like really far ahead. It just really, it, very draw dependent. You need to find the right answers at the right time. Um, but again, this is more of a thought experience than really trying to say that I have a tier one deck or a solved deck here that is good for the meta. I'm trying to really fine-tune this to see if Seasons Past with the Razakus right is worthwhile. And if, if so, we'll continue to expand on this. It, it'd be interesting to go for our Devastation in red, or even Shonner at that point in red. Um, or I, I even thought about blue. I think blue gets some cool cards. You can go in more of an energy base feel with it with Rogue Refiner and Glimmer. And then you can run like Glint Sleeve Siphoner. But I, I, I tend just to go in a, a regular energy strategy with that. And then the Scarab God actually does seem really good in a deck like this. But I think that uh, I'm always looking for... Uh, if I'm going to build a Scarab God deck, I'm probably going to go more deep uh, surrounding that particular card. So again, we'll, we'll queue this up and see how we do. Alrighty, so this is a key little hand. I think that we will... Yeah, definitely keep this. We have the Evolving Wilds. Uh, that we'll play first turn. Scatter Girls will want to wait just to cycle it away, I'm sure. Uh, so let's go grab a Swamp with the Evolving Wilds. Uh, Fetid Pools. And we have a pretty versatile hand that can deal with basically any threats that our opponent can throw our way. And a Smoldering Marsh, so I'm sure this is going to be some sort of Trench Clear Hulk Nickel Bolas deck. Doomfall would be good to give us that information. Uh, I think that we will just end up cycling the Scatter Groves. I don't think we quite need to... Yeah, since we have the land for the Doomfall, I think it's just better to cycle the land at the end of his turn. So there's a transgress, and I didn't cycle the land. Now I'm actually glad that I didn't cycle land, because we're going to play it, and then transgress. And that is perfectly fine. You know, we got a counterspell. That's exactly what we wanted to probably rip out anyway. Possibly a glimmer over that. And now we can Doomfall to try to take away. And this is that is exactly fine. Like you can trade a card for a card. That's exactly what we want to do. We are kind of have some bad cards here with Grass of Darkness. Um, Hour of Glory, Hour of Glory at least isn't a dead card. It can actually take care of a Torrential Gear Hulk. 
Strategic planning. This actually makes me think that it might be... Okay, it's going to be metallurgic summonings. There's a season's pass, of course, that... So I am going to go, go another tra uh, tra traverse at Ulmwald. Probably should win, actually, when got a green source there. Usually I like to get black because black's the the um, one that's tough. That is actually going to be a tough card to deal with other than it leaves open for a season's past here. So we can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yeah, we'll cast a season's past right now. Might as well. I don't think there's anything better. It gets back four cards. And we'll just end up getting rid of an Evolving Wild. Could have got rid of an Every Turn there. That would also been okay. So we have a Transgress and a Doomfall. Which I'm sure gets rid of like another Counterspell type card. And there's a scattered grove, so that'll, that'll be something we'll cycle away. So we'll transgress. And going to counter it, put out a 4-4. Four, four, and we'll evolve in wild. And we do want another forest here, I believe for later down the road. I could actually grasp the darkness and cycle this, but I think while we have it open, um, or do I want this return, this commit gone, so I could never, no, I think the grass would be better. We'll just Doomfall. And she's Nickel Bolas, one, two, three, four, five. Nickel Bolas is a ways away. So I think we're gonna grab this pull from tomorrow. And then We'll traverse because we still want to hit lands. And I'm not going to play this because I'd rather cycle it. Oh, I can't play it anyway. Yeah, I already played the Evolving Wilds. So the summonings is going to be a bit of an issue. He's going to be able to cast the... the uh, Doomfall to get rid of my Never, I'm sure. Actually, he was at six lands there. Did he play a land this turn? Whoops. So he's at the top deck of the Nickel Bullis. So he'll Doomfall here and probably take my Never Return. And it does exile it. So Metallurgic Summonings is very tough once it gets going. I don't really have a good... And another Doomfall. Yeah, these Construct tokens actually are going to be tough to deal with. Um, at least I can cycle. And we can take care of both of these. Unfortunately, though, yeah, I probably want to do it right now. This summonings is just pretty much a just a, an insane renewable resource. It's gonna be tough to uh, to beat the summonings. I don't really have anything in my entire deck that deals with it. It's another reason you can go white. You can go cards like cast uh, cast out. So Walking Blisters actually is pretty decent here. It most likely will get countered. It does not, so that's actually really good. A uh, Nickel Bullis is still a problem. 
But Nicol Bolas can actually, if my opponent does cast Nicol Bolas, can hit a lot of our own. Uh, cards that are pretty lackluster. We have a lot of... Well, actually not right now. I mean, I was thinking like transgress type cards. I think everything else does have targets. And a grasp. So uh, we'll kill the 3-3. Three, three. I guess I could have killed two of the two twos. Probably still want to kill a three three. Yeah, that was my bad. All right, so we're definitely at the mercy of. Well, transgress gets rid of nickel bolus. That was a good draw. This might actually force off my opponent. Casting the memory part. No, what did my opponent do there? Just tap for no reason? Oh, cycle the fetid pools, okay. Alright, pretty strong card in, is in the form of uh, Kalidus, as this just puts an end to the co constructs. Consigned to Oblivion. Jeez, this is actually working out really well. These split cards work out insanely well for my opponent. And now I think I'm I'm dead next turn. Yeah, I'm probably dead next turn. That was a great card to draw into. This does have me survive a turn. But still not the greatest little play here because we can block the 5-5 five, five and shoot down two two twos. but if my opponent draws into any sort of removal spell we just lose All right, so we got another three. Gonti's actually pretty good here because it still keeps us alive and gets a card from my opponent. Doomfall is actually pretty good. Never returns pretty bad. Grass of Darkness is actually quite bad compared to... Never return, though, just gives my opponent something to do, and I don't like that, so... I guess just Doomfall, because we know it's just a Bantu slash Reckoning, so. And that was a lot of removal we hit there, so. Hopefully we've still stabilized. I don't know if my opponent realizes Death Touch on Gaunti. I don't know why you'd trade a 5-5 five five for a... Unless you're just trying to clear the board. Oh, just going to... Yeah, yeah, the Bantus didn't work there because it comes out first. So my opponent just, like, wasted that. Funny. Puts me down to a 1, which succumbed to Temptation, but I'll take it. And we will go Traverse and grab Ishkana. Or do we want Gaunti here? 
I think Yesh Kanawha. And it is a counter spell. Womp womp. So we die to the disallow. Okay. This is renewal was the next next draw. That would have helped out a lot. Okay, so this is where Lost Legacy is perfect. You just name Lost Legacy and name the Metallurgic Summon your opponent can't win. Uh, Transgress is good here. The all these fatal pushes, Grass of Darknesses. We saw the majority of my opponent's hand. They're only relying on the so the whole thing never returns okay. It can, it, it's probably not necessary though. Same with Hour of Glory. Doomfall is fine because it can still take care of an opponent's card. We want Obnixilis. Um, we'd also want Succumb and the still to the Slaughter. I guess just never returns the never returns is hard to get into the graveyard is a problem with it. So to the Slaughter at least can take care of. Nickel Bullis, if we even I don't even think we care about Nickel Bullis to begin with. There yeah, there just wasn't anything for Never Return. Didn't see any torrential gear hooks that I was, I was aware of. But I mean the I could run a Bantu's Last Reckoning if you know, it does wipe his board. I think those are better than my options at the moment. Maybe like a Noxious Gear Hulk. It requires I mean it, it puts out a blah. Probably better than any uh better than one of these other cards. And a, uh, two, we'll go two Bantus and one Never, I think. Never at least can give us back. Ah, oh, this is an awkward. Definitely an op awkward match. Uh, we'll keep it. I think this is fine. We have three lands, a Doomfall, an Omnixilis that my opponent has to deal with. So just a ton of counter spells. Uh, balance spells, counter spells, and, and the, the summonings is, is the card that they're trying to dig for. All right, so instead of the Walking Ballista, we actually will go the Traverse here. Because that's still hitting our... We want to make sure we're hitting land drops. And then Doomfall can take care of any card here. And we will use it right now. And see, we get rid of the... Summonings right this second. I don't even know. Yes, we do care about it because I don't think we can really. Or I could take the never. I'm going to take the never return because I think that having Obnixilis out is probably more powerful than the summonings. And I can still draw into a card to deal with it. I could go transgress anyway to take care of it, but I think we, we want to throw the Gaunty out here. See if my opponent did draw into like a Supreme Will. Did not. So, see what we hit. Pfft, I hate when Gaunty does this. Can't even cycle, I don't believe. I don't believe that it allows. Yeah, it doesn't allow you to even do anything with it. So that is just, that's sad, unfortunately. <laughs> so many times Gaunti has done that for me. And also it screws up, the Evolving Wild screws up our ability to cast the... Um, so I have to transgress here and it has to hit. And we draw this crappy never return. Uh, so we'll go ahead and transgress. Hit the summonings. And there's another never return. Ugh, I have to hit the summonings now though. And we'll hit a Walking Ballista. And hopefully my opponent uses it against the, the Walking Ballista. Uh, I think I need to find a better win con for this deck. A good finisher. All right, perfect. Because now we have Obnixilis, and Obnixilis is de definitely going to get the job done. Only Negate here could save my opponent.
Walking ballista is not that great, but sure. And did top deck into another summoning. Seasons Pass is really good here. We're in a cycle. The right. Castle Walking Ballista for, for uh, two. Two cards in my pull in hand, pull from tomorrow and another card. Needs to use a pull from tomorrow before I... Yeah, probably going to be this uh, return. Oh, for my right. That's smart. Yep. Gives two... Okay, that's a great card. Let's go ahead and draw a card. So I get this ult from the Obnixilis, it's pretty much over. We draw the other. So we want to protect our Obnixilis. We're going to never... And still am going to cast the return. No. I think I'm going to go succumb from Temptation. And this way we can cycle the, yeah, we can cycle the, the right. Or we can just wait. Yeah, we can just wait on that. All right, that's... Probably not going to save because I can I can block and sack. So my opponent is desperate to get the Obnixilis down. Cast a pull from Tarot for just two. So it needs to have... Oh, there's a Wandering Fumeral. Sure. And block sack, or just attack. And let me do some math here. So we'll effectively be able to do the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Oh, my opponent can sack creatures though. So yeah, I think I need a block. Or do I? I think I just block the fumeral. Kind of a dumb block or a dumb activation, right? Because it just does one damage, and my opponent can't swap. Yeah, that was a really weird. Up next, this goes to four, but yeah, you can't like switch this over and over. The damage is on, and so as soon as this triggers, it just dies. And so at this point, I think we do just cycle. Transgress is pointless. Doomfall is pointless. Go and grab another swamp. And this is kind of awkward what I do here. Because we can torment again for five, and I do fifteen damage. I think what we just do is cast another walking ballista. 
I could activate and cast for two. Yeah, it's pointless. I think we just cast a big walking ballista. Get in there for one. And yeah, we're at the mercy of my opponent's top deck, but I think we pretty much... Yeah, have the game here. As now we can do a huge Torment of Hailfire. Probably should have actually used Obnixilis. So I'm going to let the damage go through, or actually, yeah, go let the damage go through. Huh. Guess while we're doing this, I think this is fine. This takes my turn. I don't think I'm in any danger here. Um, probably could have done that differently and just won outright one. But uh, again, I, it's it's pretty much over next turn, I would say. We have a transgress. So there's commit. Oh, just going to run commit. Okay, yeah, on my Obnixilis. That's annoying. No, I think we need to get rid of the commit to memory rather than go Noxious Gearhulk here. Because I feel like I'm playing this terribly. Um... Yeah, we're giving my opponent another turn to do something. Hey, yeah, yeah. How to lose a game by Rogue Deck Builder. He should take the Torment of Hailfire. I could see him taking the seasons past. Probably should have just, uh, done a huge Torment of Hailfire. It would have forced him to sack a lot of things. The turn when he's out of hand, out of a hand. Uh, Use Obnixilis. Yeah, that's that was definitely the right play. We do get a swamp here, which allows Doomfall and Noxious Gear Hulk. So we'll run that out. I don't see myself using. And we get it for three, four, five, six. I mean, I could have pumped up a Ballista, killed it off, and got in four, and kept a card. But I think this is the better play.
as now my opponent's down to a 11. And we also have four direct damage. So now my opponent has to draw like a Bantu's Last Reckoning. At that point, we can just activate two Easting Quagmires and attack in. Or just go Seasons Past to get back all up. Uh, yeah, just a ton of cards. Yeah, there's really, really nothing... Supreme Supreme Will was probably the best thing my opponent could have drawn into because it allows for a 3-3 three, three as well as to find the, the card, like another commit memory to throw the Noxious Gear Hulk. Decides not to do anything here. So I wonder if it's like a grass of darkness. Commit on the walking ballista. Kill the Construct, because this allows for the Noxious Gearlk to get in there for some damage. And now we can destroy the Construct. And then we get him for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. Okay, so... <sighs> don't think they're maybe scarab feast is just better than a one of i think we just want to go to a one of bantu's last reckoning just because we can cycle the scarab feast i don't know why i didn't uh even look at that last time around okay let's see hopefully gives us a good hand Give us a Lost Legacy. The way these decks are going, these control decks, it might be time to like pack a ton of Lost Legacies. Transgress, you keep a hand with Transgress. Seasons Pass is in here. Yeah, definitely a good hand. We'll lead off with his in Quagmire. And we have turn two, turn three, Blooming Marshes, which is really good, as you don't want these late. When it puts in a tap land, so it's going to give me free reign on a transgress. And pff, I don't even care about any of these cards. We'll get rid of an every turn. Bonte's Last Reckoning is so bad versus us, but it's still in here. Wish I could take the strategic planning. But that's that's okay. At least it's not, we didn't have a dead card here. So but it will be probably running a strategic planning. Land land. So snap picked whatever was else was in there. And what was it actually? Do we see that card? Do we see the we did see the choked estuary that was in my opponent's hand, and we get another transgress. Let's see what my opponent snap uh, kept. There should be two new cards for us to pick from. Nothing. I don't even want to take that card. So it was just a land. Hi yeah yay. Okay, we'll go ahead and run the traverse. So now it's we are definitely down to who can top deck. 
out of this, see if it's another like strategic planning. Nope, just cycle the pool. Uh, we'll do the same. Just to see if we can get like another, yeah, we'll use Evolving Wild so we can get rid of these lands. And opponent's going to attack in with the Fumeral. Must have nothing else in hand, so... Another Traverse. At this point, we have what we really want in hand. I think I'd rather just cast a Ballista for two. This stops the... But now we're definitely... Our opponent's drawn in four cards we don't know about. And the summonings did happen. Womp womp. Blighted Fen. Season's Pass is not worth it the moment, is it? All right, I think we're going to go this route. So I'm going to attack. So we have Delirium. Because now this can go get us. I think Gaunti's actually even better than Ishkana at this point. So I like to hit like a counter spell or something. Disallow, Doomfall, never return. Is that a commit to memory? I don't want to give my opponent that. I don't want to I don't think Doomfall. I think it's just disallow because we want to make sure we hit the seasons past. There were some juicy ones in there. I don't know why my opponent keeps playing those. <laughs> and the Doomfall is most likely going to hit my Seasons Past. Which sucks. But we do have a Noxious Gear Hulk now. I think we want to keep the summonings alive. Possibly that's not the right thing, but I want to pressure my opponent. And there's a rights. Rights is really good here. I do have to worry about a. Counterspell. It's going to be a pull for tomorrow, so I can actually save my Noxious Gear Hulk, which I probably will.
Um, sure. I would still lose it. Is it worth it? It's because I could go get a season's pass, but I'm... And all the Doomfuls are taken care of. Yeah, that Middle Earth Summonies is so good. And these do trade. So I think I... I think I am just going to cycle this. Cycle this? Uh, no, we'll keep it up for just in case for Doomfall. Yeah, here comes Nickel Bullis. Ay, ay, ay. Yep. Still gets a 2-2 two, two out, or a 3-3. Three, three. Jeez. I don't know if we have any lands left. And I think Nickel is going to be... Oh, there we go. That was the perfect top deck. Sometimes we do find a way out of this. Bam. I think my opponent to survive this has to get rid of everything but Nickel Bolas. Possibly not. Land, so it's still got Supreme Will. It's four. And it goes down to a two. Oh, geez. Hits another Metallurgic Summoning off the top. Are you kidding me? That was like the one card that saves my opponent. And it's a Kalidus. Oh, are you kidding me? That's the that's the other card that... We do hit a Doomfall, though. Whew! Crazy game. Crazy game. And then we activate the Hissing Quagmire and swing in. Wow, we, we beat a Nickel Bullis. Whew. I'll take it. I'll take it. Fun time. So, Bad Space, I don't know what we do this sec to make it any better. These are grindy matchups. Um, I think I need a better win con. If anyone has a suggestion for a, a decent win con that just maybe splash for... Splash for blue for the Scarab God is what I can think. Maybe that's just the best best route to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this match. I wish I had more time to do some more matchups, but I do have to my own FNM. Kevin with Thanks for watching.